Hello and welcome on the journey, Scorpio. Scorpio, happy birthday to Scorpios that are in November and to anyone who just had their birthday in October. Let's find out what the message is from Spirit for you via postcard. Dear wonderful you, intimacy is scary sometimes. It means you have to let someone else get to know the real you, not the perfect, flawless mask you wear for others. No, it's time to reveal the cool one, the passionate one, the imperfect one that is totally you without artifice or walls. Yes, you will be exposed and vulnerable for a time, but it will be so worth it. This is the only way you will know true clo closeness with others, and you will also be close to spirit and to us. There is amazing freedom that comes when you let go and just be yourself with another or a group. Release from the invisible bindings that keep you from intimacy is truly empowering. So may we support you wholeheartedly in this choice. You will know yourself better, and we hope learn to love yourself as much as we do. Life is about who we are with others, so share it. You'll be so glad you did. And it's interesting because the message I was feeling before pressing record was that you are on this new path, but you have been keeping yourself hidden somehow. And maybe you are a tarot reader. Maybe you're an energy worker. And maybe people are starting to discover the secret parts of you. That maybe you have this ability, this light, and people look to you to lead because you have this deep love for humanity and this desire for peace. And it can make some people get a little obsessed with you too. And I feel that there might be a few suitors that you have, Scorpio, or people that are keeping an eye on you. 18, let it go. The situation no longer serves you. Allow me to sever your energetic connections to the past so you can embrace the future. And so in feeling that there are some people around your energy right now, maybe this is a time for you to say goodbye to the past and to just move on to, to serving the highest good, to being that truth and that perfection that you are. Choose love. And I feel in this love, it's a pathway of service. Maybe you've started and stopped this business or an idea or something that you were doing that was helping other people of value. And there's something creative to this. And it might be time to bring that back and to look at that because it also helps people. There's something there that you've hidden away as treasure and it's time to transform this. Guilt, I release any beliefs that no longer assist my soul's growth. So maybe, maybe too that is the message is that you feel guilty about letting something go, maybe even someone go because you have changed and you are now going through this final push to transform yourself, to go through this metamorphosis, to find your fulfillment, to find the value of yourself and to bring yourself into form. Let's get a message. What is the main current energy for Scorpio? Six of Swords, let it go, let it go. Well, I don't know why I'm singing let it go, but Six of Swords, this is moving, moving away, moving away from the past, moving away to grow, 
letting go so you can create harmony and cooperation in your life. There are some choices you have to make right now and it might have to do with the sixth house too of your work, of your health, in your of your self-improvement, to making yourself better, to loving yourself and to realizing how much of a diamond you are. Your self-worth is so important because you are God's precious gem. You are spirit's precious child. And there's something about you and you are here because your energy is a path of spirit. You are protected by spirit and they want you to to be to be that beacon of light for other people to serve a better world because you see the goodness in everything. But people take your kindness and your purity and your good intentions as weakness. So that is something I'm feeling that you've had to work with and that you've had this struggle with people. You've had to struggle with people who want to control you, who want to want you to play by their rules. And they know you work so hard and they can see that you're a star, you're a light. And so maybe some of them have pushed you into a path that wasn't your path because they could see this light of yours, but it wasn't, they didn't have the best of intentions. But you are here to serve the highest good of all. You are here to heal other people. You're a healer. What is the obstacle for Scorpio this month? It may be in communication, maybe communicating with a partner. Maybe you have to make a, a big decision to serve yourself, but in service to yourself, of course, your path is service for the highest good of all. It's to bring the truth to the surface, to be professional. There's a King of Cups as the obstacle. And I'm not taking this as a person. I'm taking this energy as an empath. You are a super empath, Scorpio. Whoever I'm talking to here, you have this understanding of what needs to be done for the betterment of all. And maybe you work, you spend a lot of time with young children or you work with animals, but you love thy neighbors as yourself. You really do see how to heal people by allowing them to be who they are, to allow them to empower themselves, to see their own value. Maybe some of you are teachers, but you are of service here. And you're surrounding yourself with positive people because you have a huge job to do here. There's been a lot of interference outside. There's construction. So I'm feeling that you've had to really work extra hard at protecting your energy because people are trying to interfere with your light, with your perfection. So don't compare yourself to others and judge yourself like people have judged you and compare themselves to other people. The chariot, yes. This also is a water energy too. So Cancer. We have duality. 
that is what I see. You know how to be happy. You know the point of life. You get it because you are on a path of enlightenment. You are on a path of ascension in this lifetime. So you see the dark side of people. You see the light side of people. And that is why you see the, the best in everyone. And so you're able to stay at a high place. This is victory your success this is you standing out like the light you are the leader that you are you're taking action on changing your life right now and for some of you you are on a new journey you're on a path some of you may have actually just got a new vehicle too but there's victory here Ooh, we have a card falling down to the ground. Okay, so it was the four of wands and it was all the which way around. So your foundation has been rocked recently and everything that you thought you wanted, I'm wondering if you now want it or not. That is what I see. Maybe you've had some family members who you've had to cut out of your life or they've cut you out of their life. Maybe there have been friends who are no longer friends because they can no longer stand to, to see you succeed and to see your light grow even brighter. Maybe there you have failed at, at a marriage here. Maybe you've tried to make something work that is not working. And so you're looking at establishing a new foundation. Tell me about this four of wands. Ooh, the lovers. Okay, I don't know why I don't normally peek. So this decision is about your home foundation. It's about love. It's about what you want. You want cooperation. And I was looking and I didn't, didn't mean to look at the bottom of the deck, but it, it just, there's no accident. There's the five of swords that stood out in this and the seven of swords. So you've been dealing with people who want to win at all costs and they want to do anything they can to do. They can to take your light, to take, to take that smile off your face. And they've done this in so many different ways. And maybe you've even done this to yourself and self-sabotage in love. There may be a Gemini in the mix. You deserve love because you give love. You are love. You're the ultimate in love and you're looking for a deep love. You're looking for that intimacy, that balance of two together. So there may be a relationship you need to let go of and you're, you're feeling like you need to. You know that it's time, but you're, you're feeling a little guilty about moving on. But there's success. There's success here. Oh, yeah, there we go. We have the five of wands. So conflict, competition. Yeah, there's competition for you. You're very beautiful. You're very alluring. And there are people who are trying to communicate with you. And maybe you don't even know that they're trying to communicate with you. But there's this competition going on behind the scenes. It could be the King of Wands or this King of Cups who is fighting for you in the scenario and there may be an earth sign but your beauty is alluring and they, people can see that you are abundant that you're a wonderful mother or a nurturing figure very powerful person anything else spirit anything else for the month of november anything else nope i'm being asked to get an Archangel Raphael healing card. If you want to protect your energy, Scorpio, you may consider wearing diamond. 
because it is a high vibe stone, a stone of abundance. And it, it removes dark forces from your energy. And it's quite a healing stone for those who serve the highest good. Avoid allergens. Please assist me in identifying and avoiding allergens that may be toxic to my health and happiness. Move me or help me. Oh, interesting. No Freudian slip there. Move me to the only crave. Yeah, so move me and also help me to only crave healthful foods and beverages. There's, there's definitely a situation that you want to let go of, but you don't know. You want, you want to avoid the conflict is what I see in making this decision. You know you're going to be just fine on your own and not be part of a situation here. All right, let's get you an Angels of Abundance card. And it's funny, I see expect a miracle over here on the bottom of that, that deck. Oh, what's this? Take a divinely guided chance. Hmm, that was peeking through. Wow, very interesting. So as you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar, but no longer appropriate for you, you make room for new and more meaningful opportunities. So this change that you want to make is a positive change and it will be a success successful venture so maybe if you are looking at moving that and you feel like it's risky this is your guidance with the with the chariot card and these other cards that are saying move you can do this face your financial fears when you're honest with yourself about fears of success or failure they no longer control you be free of hidden fears by exposing them to the light of awareness and you'll realize that you in fact have nothing to fear and that every successful person has struggled with and released these self doubts. Yeah, I really, it come, I'm coming back to that feeling of like, you just need to understand how beautiful, how precious you are. You are this empress here. You are abundance. You are light. It's, I think this is part of your path. Maybe some of you are on a life path eight where you're a leader. You're so strong and you, you're just, you have this love for humanity and you, you can help so many people, but you've been tested over and over and over again. And maybe with a karmic issues that you've had to deal with, maybe trials through lifetimes you've had to do this, where you've been healing these general generational wounds and ancestral issues that your bloodline has had to deal with. And that there's been a lot of people, forces working against you because you are so abundant and there may be a partnership where you may have had an inheritance or there may be a person coming into your life who is abundant and who you're going to have to realize that people are going to be very envious but this is your reward this is your dreams becoming a reality thank you for being with me scorpio in resonance i really appreciate your energy here with me in driving me forward in in through this energy that we are working on together as a human collective until we meet again see you in december bye